indeed the government action has a substantial burden uh, on it. Uh, hi, Trevor Burst from the Cato Institute. I have two questions for David. I'm right here, sorry. Um, one is you talked about corporation at the founding and, I, and the meaning of the term and what the founders thought about it. I wonder how you rectify that with the fact that there were no general incorporation statutes in any state until 1795, and really until the 1850s, incorporation meant something entirely different, more like a state monopoly. And then, second question is we said that the giving, Hobby Lobby was denying a federal right to the women employees. Could you describe what that federal right is and what it looks like after it gets through HHS and whether or not it has to go through your employer or not?